Hello! Let's learn some JavaScript. We're going to open up Google Chrome here and we're going to go to View, Developer, and this time JavaScript Console. So you can do Command Option J as well. And it opens up this console, which is, if you remember Elements, you've seen it before, that's your HTML. Console is where we can write JavaScript. On the right, you'll see the outline of what we'll talk about in this JavaScript segment. We'll go one by one, and some of them we'll come back to. But don't worry, by the end, you'll know everything in here. So let's talk JavaScript. JavaScript has seven types. You can think of types as values that JavaScript can have. Let's start with the first one. And that is number. So the number type. Well, in JavaScript, you can do something like this. Look at that. The console allows us to write JavaScript as much as we want. So by writing this and the console giving us an answer, it means that, yep, this is valid JavaScript. OK, what else can we do? Well, we can do 3 times 5, 15. 12 divided by 4, 3, that's awesome. What else can we do? 12 minus 4, 8. Mm, can we do this? Can we do 3 plus 4, close the bracket, times 2? So that's 7 times 2, 14. Yeah, it works. And we can even do this. And this is a special character that you might have not seen before. It's called modulo, and let's see what happens. Gives me zero. Hmm. What if I do 12 modulo 5? It gives me two. What this symbol does, and let's make this bigger so you can see clearly. And I'm going to clear this just so you can see it better. And I can do clear here with these brackets, and it'll clean up everything for me. So one more time, what I did was 12 modulo 5. And that gives me two. And what modulo does is it gives me their remainder. So 12 divided by 5 is, well, it gives me a reminder of 2 because 5 can only go to 10 and then you have two reminder. So if I do, let's say, 12 modulo 5, or let's do 9, I get a remainder of 3. And you're thinking, oh god, you're just, you're just teaching me math. But don't worry, this is only a small part of it. I just want to show you that the first JavaScript type is a number, and we can do operations on them, just like a calculator can. The second type in JavaScript is a string. So a string is just text. And all you need to do to let JavaScript know that you're writing a piece of text is double quotes. So I can just say Bob, I can say my name, and you can also use single quotes. And that is a string. But what else can we do with the string? Let me clear this. Well, you can also do this. You can say hello plus there. What do you think will happen here? Let's see. Hello there. Hmm. But it is one word. We need a space. So we would have to do hello space plus there. And there we have the space. Okay. So we can add things. So add two sentences together. What if we do, what if we do something like this? This isn't very nice. I hit enter and, okay, that works, that's good. But what if I use single quotes here? What if I go like this, and remember I said that I can use single quotes in JavaScript. Well, you see the syntax changes, and I get a little error? Well, because I'm using a single quote, and then inside the string I'm trying to use a single quote. And that would happen as well if I use double quotes. So if we go back to the example be before, 
and I add another quote in here, well, again, I get an error. So let me clear that. How can we avoid this problem? Well, with the string in JavaScript, you can do something like this. This, let's do use single quotes. This isn't, and watch this. This isn't very nice. And this backslash has a special meaning. The backslash says, hey, whatever comes after this, it's a special meaning means just ignore it. Don't say that this is a piece of string. I just want the back tick. So if I run like this, oh, oops, I made the syntax over here wrong. Obviously the quotes need to match. So let's try that again. There you go. This isn't very nice. Okay, I have another question. What happens here? 10 plus string of 34. So that's number 10 plus string of 34. Let's see what happens. Hmm, weird. So JavaScript automatically looked at this and said, hmm, he's adding a number and a string. He's probably trying to add strings together. So JavaScript converts the number 10 into a string 10 and does 1034. That's kind of weird, right? It's one of the quirks of JavaScript. There's a few of them. You just have to get used to it. Let's try something else. What about if I do 10? minus three. Press enter. I get seven. What is going on here? And because with the string, you can really subtract the string. I mean, let's see if I go hello minus by. I get this weird symbol, which we'll get back to, but that doesn't work. So now JavaScript says, I'm going to because he's subtracting, I'm just going to assume that he means the number three. So he's trying to help you out. But sometimes it can have unexpected behavior. So ideally, you never do things like this. Ideally, you keep numbers with numbers and strings with strings, and you keep the actions between the like types. So let's go back to this. What just happened when I say hello minus by? NAN stands for not a number, and it's technically in JavaScript, you can see the blue highlighting here, it's part of the number type. So numbers can, you know, can range from 1 to 10 to, you know, 567, but there's also the NAN when it's saying, hey, whatever you just wrote is not a number. So that's the case as well. I know it's really, really confusing, but don't worry, it's just the quirks of the language that we're learning. Okay, I'm going to show you one other JavaScript type before we get to some fun things in the next video. So the next one is Boolean. And the Boolean type is very simple. Boolean just means true or false. That's it. And sometimes that could be represented as ones and zeros. And for those that know a lot about computers, you might know that computer is pretty much runs on ones and zeros. And that's, that's where it comes from. But Booleans are very, very useful because now we can do something like three is greater than two. And I'll say true, three is greater than two. If I do five is greater than 10, we'll say false, five is not greater than 10. We can also do five is greater than or equal to five. So we'll say true because I can do greater than or equal to. And I can also do five is smaller than or equal to five. Now, what if I wanna say, does three equal three? Hmm, I get an error. Why is that? Well, because in JavaScript, if you want to say something is equal to something, you have to say three equals, three equals sign, three. And I get true. And in the next video, I'll tell you why that's the case. It's very, very interesting. But for now, just remember, that's always a tricky point that a lot of beginners get confused about. Just remember, if you're comparing two things, three equal signs. The last one I want to show you is this, three, 
doesn't equal 3. Isn't that confusing? So this is saying, does 3 not equal 3? False, because 3 equals 3. I know it, it can get really, really confusing, but think of this as the opposite of the equal sign. So for example, if I do 4 doesn't equal 5, I'll get true because you're right, 4 doesn't equal 5. So what we just learned are JavaScript comparisons. And they're the things right over here. That's it. You just have to remember these. Whew. Well, that was, that was fun, right? But we're just getting started. After this video, I have left an exercise sheet for you. Try to find the answers to the problems and then copy and paste them, each of the questions, each of the line, into the JavaScript console. So for example, if I said, you know, evaluate 3 plus 5, you'll copy this, put it in the console, and just press enter. And I want you to get comfortable working with the console and playing around with it, experimenting around. And like I said, really try and work on the next problem sets. I haven't given you a lot because I don't want you to get overwhelmed. Uh, there's a lot more interesting things happening in JavaScript than this, and you can pick this up fairly easily. But I do encourage you to make sure you do the exercises. Now, can you get all of them? Good luck. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.